Well, the final countdown to next year's Olympics in Japan is officially on for many of our country's top athletes. Shortly after the sun rose at Piha Beach near Auckland this morning, the New Zealand Olympic Committee hosted the world's first one-year-to-go event ahead of the 2020 Games in Tokyo. The 12 athletes in attendance helped Auckland artist David Hilliam create a giant silver fern mural in the black sands at the beach. Our sports reporter Clay Wilson went along. A dozen top New Zealand athletes scurrying about with rakes may have seemed an odd sight to locals on their morning walk along Piha Beach earlier today. But as far as the New Zealand Olympic team's chef de mission Rob Waddell was concerned, the location was perfect to mark one year to go to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. It's probably the closest we can get to Japan without actually hopping on a plane and flying there. And it's off on the horizon there somewhere, some 9,000 kilometres to the northwest. So that was the reason for being here today. The 12 athletes, some already qualified for Tokyo, some still hopeful of booking their berth, joined Auckland artist David Hilliam to complete a giant silver fern. Accompanying the athletes' mural was the hashtag Earn the Fern, the NZOC's official slogan ahead of next year's Games. After winning hearts over with his gold medal weightlifting triumph at last year's Commonwealth Games, gentle giant David Leite joked he was also a winner when it came to scraping sand. Oh man, I think they should hire me, yeah. <laughs> this is like a new, new thing and I think I've just found my, my calling. Another happy with her artistic efforts was Black Sticks hockey player Kirsten Pearce, part of a team desperate to finally win an Olympic medal for the national women's side. Well, I guess using a rake, it's quite similar to a hockey position, so <laughs> we're probably a little bit better doing things like that. But um, yeah, I'm probably not really a gardener, but I don't know, maybe one day we'll see. <laughs> Jokes aside, the serious business of succeeding at, or first qualifying for next year's Games, is very much underway for New Zealand athletes. Rob Waddell says that's because they need to not only be prepared for the inevitable unexpected variables, but also the specific challenges of the second Olympics to be hosted by the Japanese capital. It'll be a hot games, probably the hottest games we've ever been to. And space, it's, it's a smaller place, we'll have a smaller allotment for our accommodation in the village. It's one third of the size of what we had in Rio in terms of the actual village uh, layer. So all of that you start to think about and how that might affect our teams and I know that's part of what they're working on and planning for now. Sailing duo Molly Meach and Alex Maloney have just returned from a training block in Tokyo. Meach says knowing what to expect is crucial as they try and go one better than the silver medal they claimed three years ago in Rio. The culture is quite different here in New Zealand so I think just making sure that we're enjoying the venue itself and then on top of that we did quite a bit of heat work. Um, Unfortunately, we kind of got there in a cold period, but yeah, it's starting to warm up before we left. So making sure that when we go back, we get used to the heat and see how we react in it, because I think that's going to be quite a big factor of performance. Meach and Maloney's quest for gold will come as part of what is expected to be New Zealand's biggest ever team for an Olympics. 199 athletes competed at Rio in 2016. And Waddell says the addition of several new sports and disciplines, including skateboarding, surfing, three-on-three -three basketball and karate, means they'll likely surpass that number in Tokyo. And while the Games themselves are still 365 days away, for athletes like David Leite, that doesn't seem so long given what's on the line. I start to think about it and it's like, man, the nerves are starting to creep in and just how real it's going to be. Um, it's crazy. Confirmed New Zealand athletes for the Tokyo Games will be named between March and July next year. Motihotaka Otiahipo Nei, Ko Clay Wilson Aho.